We're talking about the Dublin Bay South by election. Um, it's the really hot topic in the country at the moment, <laughs> even though it's for one seat. Um, it has huge significance to see this Irish people. Um, will we accept the same old, same old Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, um, the Greens, or would they vote for some kind of change, any kind of change at all? Um, so we'll talk about the updates. There's been a few interesting developments um, coming up to us. It's on the 8th and today we're on the 6th. A few interesting developments. So first of all, what's new? RT, um, just don't like giving anybody else who has a different opinion um, a, a voice. You know, again, um, this independent TD, P, uh, P, uh, Peter Dooley, um, a good, he's a good man. He asked Fina Gay a lot of questions and they went away from him. Um, so fair play to him. He's independent. Of huge respect for people who are independent. Um, because you're not funded by the state, you're taking down your pocket, and it's how it's how it is an independent, um, and again fair play to him, um, but yeah, he he basically was contacted with OT and would ask thirty seconds. They done a thing on prime time, um, not prime time, on, uh, at the, uh, the weekend politics, sorry, um, and they done a thing where the, you would kind of debate, you know, the Fine Gael, Sinn Fein, um, Labour were there and the Greens. Um, and I knew he wasn't there, the independents weren't there. But he was given 30, 30 seconds. Basically, they were given a, a, to do a video, basically just say who they were and X, Y, and Z. But he was given 30 seconds. Imagine giving 30 seconds to anybody to say what the fall. Because again, you wouldn't be able to, you'd be able to say your name and maybe what's your background a bit. Um, but you wouldn't be able to say, you know, I have this is how I'm going to fix the house in crisis. This is how I'm going to deal with homelessness in the area. This is how I'm going to deal with. You know, traffic jams in the area. This is how I'm going to deal with local community projects. You know, again, he wouldn't have a chance to give his fair share um, compared to the Fianna Gael, Sinn Féin, you know, the big parties, um, which were there and they were given time because they were there in presence. And and obviously, um, he he was only given 30 seconds. He was dead right to say no to OT because OT is learning to quiz, um, asking people to give 30 seconds. Again, they don't, they favour the big parties, they favour the, they favour the over, overlords, if we may use that, Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil. Um, Sinn Féin, the big parties, they don't care for the independents or the national party or any of them. OT doesn't have time for them, um, which is unfair, because again, let's be fair, before it's anything else, everybody's entitled to their opinion, even though you're left, right, set or whatever, um, anarchist or whatever, but you're, you really are entitled to, to, at least in your election, at least when you're wonderful election, you're entitled to be heard, at least give them three minutes, four minutes the most, give them, give them a chance, again, give them a chance to speak. Um, to get the people, to let the people, because again, it's up to the people, it's not up to OT. Uh, OT should, again, OT probably weighs the opinion saying, oh, we can't because we have advertisements going. Then fuck the advertisements, fuck your money for a second, OT. Um, you get enough out of the Irish taxpayer, you, you, you fuck your advertisement for a second. Because this is, and again, forgive me for my language, but this is an election. People have to know who they're voting in and what they stand for. They can't just go to a ballot and be like, they can magically un- understand what this person's for. They, you know, they need to know. People need to know. Um, and OT obviously are feared um, independence in the National Party. Only Justin Bauer was given a minute, I think. Um, and, and I think, and I, I, don't, I don't think the lowest cap was contacted. If I was not. But um, yeah, fair play to Peter Doonan. Um, you know, again, I look up the candidates. Again, I don't want to be biased to towards any candidate. Um, but yeah, Dolores Cow too, when we're speaking about Dolores Cow, there was uh, an interest, and she put up a video on her a Facebook account, I often listen to the Dolores Cow, um, about medical advice, and things of that. Um, she's a good, you know, a good, fi- good advice, where I, she, I took vitamin D, she said to take vitamin D, um, and all that, I've been listening to her video stuff with that, and I haven't started taking vitamin D. Um, so yeah, she's one of those independent, I thought she'd be one of the Irish Freedom Party, but um, no, she's not, she's one of those independent. Um... So yeah, it's so interesting thing that happened on the Telegram. Um, so basically, there's been people putting up uh, posts without consent. Um, and you know, basically, she didn't want any donations for her campaign. Um, she was going to pay it out of her, uh, you know, probably out of her own pocket. Um, and not have people f- donating or anything like that. And obviously, I don't know, it must have been a moderator on our Telegram channel. Um, you know, more or less, what the, you know, put it up without her consent to donate or whatever. Um, and you know, with some foundation or something that was behind it or whatever, um, or some I, again I don't know the full details, but um again it is you know something to talk about because it is, you know it's been talked about and probably people will say to me you don't know, mention it, um again I do, it's it's wrong again if anybody puts up anything without anybody's consent especially in the one channel take for example any of the moderators I have in the channel put up anything, because they have the kind of the what you know, again there's nothing really going to stop them until I find them. <laughs> but, uh, 
Um, but yeah, you know, at least they would ask me if they had to put up something or if they had any message or anything that they had to put up. I would, I would let them if they asked me. Um, but I wouldn't be happy if they just went ahead and done this um, without my consent. Again, it's the same with anything. If it's your channel, if it's your Facebook page, if it's anything like that, um, it's up to ask the person who, who's the name on the channel or the name of the uh, Facebook page or whatever page. Um, it's up to you, up to them to ask the person who owns it. Um, and obviously that's wrong if they didn't ask the lowest cast consent um, to put it up, whatever they wanted to put up. Um, and obviously, you know, again, it's it's a small topic, but uh, I just wanted to talk about because people would mention about it. So when I'm here to Anua, as a, 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 into, so I keep saying Anua, um, into is going to the High Court, I mentioned about that. Um, obviously, they wouldn't even invite it. Um, OT didn't even bother to invite uh, into. Um, they just didn't like into, they don't like the pro life, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's, it's again, it's very unfair because if you have a candidate, you have to have them at least get them for five to ten minutes speaking um, about what, what the choice in the campaign and what the people are voting for. Um, and obviously, too, um, during that um, a debate, you could say, the Fiende Gay of our James, I can't think of it, James, I don't know, Geno or something like that, um, he was basically, he was photographed for the an earpiece. It's very suspicious, you know, what he's Fiende Gay and Fiende Fog people with earpieces. Um, you take the Piketty, you take the Mike Piketty, told what to say um you think there might be being said you know say this this is what's going to get you elected x one said um because you don't see any of here with me look at my ears um i think very nice um but yeah you don't see any of so into that i'm taking off the top of my head i have to try and remember everything off the top of my head um yeah but again it's very suspicious again there should be questions asked for that but then fina gale um Probably one away, probably one one to China or someone like that, where they fit in very nicely. Um, I'm sure they have load uh, loads of investors and things like that they can hang out with over there. Um, and leaves us alone in Ireland. We don't watch here. Thank you. Um, this message is paid by the government of Ireland. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interest because there's only a few days to go, and obviously it's down to the wire now. We're actually only talking about two days, aren't we? Um, two days, yeah. Um. So yeah, I will keep, I'll keep you updated on it, but that's just what's happening at the moment. There's probably other things happening in the election scene. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about them a few issues, a few topics here. Um, but again, I do suggest, and everybody, I don't, again, I don't want to be biased though, and that's, it's, up, it's up to you, the people of Dublin Bay South, to vote. Um, and who you believe is right. Again, I can't say, I can't be biased and say, you know, if, you've, if you take Fianna Gael, the ads of Fianna Fáil, um, Sinn Féin, Labour, the Independents, um, Justin Barrett, National Party, any of the any of the current and any of the candidates, you know, it's up to you to, and I would say to look up the websites, even if you have uh, um even posters and what they stand for, um, and you know, make your own opinion. Again, that's a good thing about democracy. You can think for yourself, um, again, I say to people just to, to think about it, to think about it tonight, or to think about tomorrow night and think about it. Because, again, some people do take that it's just a vote, it's just a piece of paper. But it's that future of that constituency. You know, if you put in somebody that's corrupt and will take money from the people, um, then that's obviously something you don't want. But think about it. Do think about it, please. Um, again, I don't want to be biased, so please do take for yourself. Um, and you know, take everything what I say with a grain, a grain of salt in relation to any candidate or anything like that. Um, because I'm just saying the news and what's happening. That, um, and that's all. Thank you.